With the amount of fighters on the UFC roster at the moment, it, it's easy to miss some of the shining stars that have not quite yet emerged. Um, unfortunately, because I'm traveling around the world and watching all of these fights every weekend, I get to see some of these people that are starting to emerge on the scene that have not quite yet uh, you know, proven what they're capable of. So the, these are my uh, fighters to watch in 2020. My first pick is Charles Oliveira, uh, and the reason I picked him, and I know a lot of you will be familiar with Charles Oliveira because of how many fights he's had in the UFC and what he's been able to achieve so far, um, especially with his submission game. But since he's moved up to lightweight, I feel like he might be a, a real problem for anybody in the top 10. Uh, he's currently ranked 13 as we're recording this, and he's on a six fight win streak with uh, six stoppages, four submissions, two knockouts. Um, and I gravitate towards the knockouts in particular because coming up to the lightweight division, we knew he was a good grappler. We'd seen so many submissions in the past, you know, various different neck attacks and stuff. Moving up to lightweight, we've also seen a development in his striking game, and that's really what I needed to see from him to determine whether he was going to be a contender or not. Um, so with that knockout over Nick Lentz and, and his most recent beautiful right-hand uppercut finish with uh, Jared Gordon, I am putting him at the top of my list as ones to watch for contenders in the new year. My next fighter to watch for the new year is Jack Shaw. Um, I watched this kid come up through the Cage Warriors uh, events and win the title, defend the title at Bantamweight and look clinical and technical and just precise all the way through it. The, there's, there's a nice story around Jack Shaw as well, the fact that he's trained by his father, they've got a gym together, they've got some great training partners and teammates as well, you know, so the, the Welsh have, have got a real presence in the UFC right now, but for me, as far as skill and ability goes, Jack Shaw is, is really one to watch. Um, and he's so young as well, so the, the, the time for him to develop still and to become one of the best in this sport, um, we, we need to plug into his career now so we can watch this, uh, this journey as it unfolds. After recently returning to the UFC, after, after battling back to the octagon, uh, Nicholas Dalby is the next person on my list. Uh, you know, his first time in the UFC when he got that draw against Darren Till, we, we got an idea of how, how capable he was, but it wasn't until he was, he was released from the UFC and had to kind of pick up the pieces. He went through some hard times, he regrouped, he got onto Cage Warriors and uh, you know, picked up the Cage Warriors welterweight title and, and looked spectacular doing it. And taking on someone as difficult as Alex Oliveira in Copenhagen as well, you know, it just further added to the pressure that was on Dalby's shoulders. Um, so, you know, with a, with a unanimous decision over Oliveira, I very much feel like Dalby is not only one of the most exciting prospects to watch out for, but one of the most promising that we've got to offer in Europe. Next on my list, and the new terror of the lightweight division, a guy that you might not yet have heard of, but uh, has made his UFC debut on the Copenhagen card. He was co-main event in his UFC debut, so that, that tells you, you know, what the UFC expect from this guy. Uh, currently 9-0, uh, an Olympic silver medalist at Greco-Roma Wrestling as well. And there's just something there's professionally terrifying about this guy, I don't know how else to put it. When we do the fighter meetings uh, during fight week, he showed up shirt and tie, on his own, sat in his seat and answered every single question like it was a job interview. He is, he is a, 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 not only a professional, but he's also a... a there's just a wild animal side to him. You can see it in his eyes. It's like he's holding it together all the time. And when he steps into the octagon, that's his opportunity to just, just let it go. Just, uh, just allow himself to be the, the, the monster that he is. And uh, in his UFC debut, that's what we saw. Uh, Danilo Balwada was unfortunately the, the victim of that debut and was just absolutely steamrolled by Mark Madsen. Uh, definitely someone to watch out for, someone that can contend with anybody in this division. And also, a little note, working with Mark, uh, Martin Campman, who's a, an excellent veteran of the UFC, so always build into his skill set. One of my favorite welterweights to watch at the moment, uh, one of the American top teams stable of welterweights, uh, Claudio Hannibal Silva, an excellent grappler. Uh, fascinating backstory as well, which I'm sure he'll, we'll get to know more about as his career unfolds. But after losing his first uh, professional fight, he's been on a, a ridiculous win streak. He's beaten everybody else that he's faced, uh, including Leon Edwards and Danny Roberts, you know, two big names for his, uh, for his record an excellent submission fighter, very, very tough and durable, and uh, has not only got his eyes on the UFC title, but also wants to be known as the best grappler in the sport. Uh, someone to watch out for next year, for sure. 
After seeing this person fail at her UFC debut and then turn it around to put three wins together since, uh, she has to make the list for me in the new year because I, I just expect to continue to improve. Uh, Molly McCann, Meatball Molly McCann. Uh, came through the Cage Warriors event, I remember watching her fight in front of the, the crowd in Liverpool and she was celebrated like she was an absolute rock star. And you know, when you meet Molly McCann you get it, she's a, got a very addictive personality, she's a lot of fun, she's always the life of the room that she's in and when she steps into the octagon you know you're going to get a fist fight. Uh, every single one of her fights has been exciting. It, it, she's a rock'em sock, sock kind of fighter. She throws with power. She bites down on her mouthpiece and fights with emotion and heart every single time. And you know, to go with that, she's working hard to continue building her skill set. She's continually improving and just getting stronger and, and physically better every time we see her. So uh, Molly McCann, I think uh, 2020 is going to be her year. Somebody else to watch for the new year is Sadiq Youssef. Uh, he's on a five fight win streak at the moment. Uh, one of those being on the contender series and then three in the UFC. Uh, I remember calling that first fight when he stepped into the octagon officially for the first time and the, the power and the sound of the punches from the commentary booth was something that I won't forget, especially for someone of this weight class. Even the punches that were landing on the arms and shoulders of his opponents sounded hurtful. Uh, definitely a, 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 a talented individual, a physical specimen and someone that's going to continue to impress in this division in the new year. An obvious addition to this list for next year is uh, Macy Barber. I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with this girl. She is a finishing machine. She is just wrecking people left, right and centre and good fighters as well. You know, to get a first round stoppage over Gillian Robertson is, is you know, very, very impressive. Robertson, who was also on her own win streak. So to be able to put an end to that um, and, you know, at 21 years old as well, she really represents the new generation of MMA fighters that are coming through with, you know, without all the traditional martial arts clogging up their brain, they've got, uh, you know, a clear idea of what they want to do in there and she's so aggressive about, uh, you know, and the way she goes about it. An exciting fighter to watch in the new year. She wants to fight everybody, so hopefully we'll get to see her step into the octagon a few times. Um, but definitely an exciting one and may even be able to get that youngest UFC champion title off John Jones. Everybody in this sport is always on the lookout for the next heavyweight contender and one of the guys that's standing out to me at the moment, and I'm sure you've all noticed him, is Jairzinho Rosenstrike. Um, he, he has that scary punching power that doesn't doesn't seem to come from anywhere. I think back to his fight against Andre Olovsky and I had this idea in my head that he was going to be much bigger than Olovsky. And when I actually saw them face off, they were he, he was he was considerably smaller in a lot of ways, but when his when his hands land, it, I mean it just looks like he's hit somebody around the face with a kettlebell. It's, it, there's just this clear knockout power that he's got that's able to muster from such a close range. You know, and to be able to knock people out within, you know, 10 to 30 seconds of the first round. I mean, that, that's a guy that you've always got to keep your eye on, and we always like a knockout puncher in the heavyweight division, so uh, make sure you keep an eye on him. In three fights in the UFC, you can gain a lot of ground, and this is one fighter on my list that uh, I feel has, has proven himself very well over the first three fights in his career. You know, to beat Charles Bird, who's an excellent wrestler, Jack Marshman, who's an excellent boxer and power puncher, and then Brad Tavares, who's a veteran that really knows the game of mixed martial arts from start to finish. And in his most recent one against Brad Tavares, that head kick knockout and the way that he set that up, I think Edmund Shabazian is definitely one to watch in the new year. And as always, the middleweight division is wide open. It would take maybe two or three wins, big wins, for him to get into a position where he can start calling for title shots. So at 22 years old, 11-0, he's definitely one to watch.